Hi there, and welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robinson, and I'm so happy to have you here with me. Please like, comment, subscribe, or share this video. Subscribe to. I had to, like, add that. Preposition? No. What is that? Anyway, okay, let's talk about art and not grammar because I'm better at art than I am at grammar. Um, so here we are. We are talking about art. I was walking down the aisles of my grocery store. We're still not talking about art. Anyway, I saw this package of doilies and I kind of thought that that was about Valentine's Day coming up, except it wasn't in the sort of holiday aisle. It was like, I don't know, on one of those end caps. So as I'm walking over to whatever I was getting next, I thought, why don't I make my own doilies? Wouldn't it be just like a regular paper cut, except you don't cut out the middle? And I think I was right about that. So check this out. This is using origami paper. And it's a, you know, con a circle concentric fold with just a couple of cuts here at the top. And here's one that I wanted to look like it was ready for Valentine's Day. So isn't that totally cute? And then for all of us who make artsy things here in the land of antique junk journals, I thought you would appreciate this. This is um, uh, brown waxed paper. So it's pretty normal looking. And um, again, I left the center uncut and I just made a bunch of little cuts there at the top. Isn't that pretty? So I thought I'd walk through the the um, the deal with you and I thought we would start pretty little because I want to be able to put some of these into my journal that's um, about self-expression. So let's make sure that we are in the view of the camera. Here we go. So I haven't made any paper cuts with you all for like weeks or something. But I just thought they would look so pretty in our art journal. I mean anybody's art journal. And you know you can totally make these with any color, you know, like if you like this antiqued um, paper, then that's great. You could use coffee dyed paper. You could, oh, I'm sure you could coffee dye origami paper and then you'd have lovely thin paper. Or you could use, you know what is this color is um, pattern paper. Then you get all those cool lines and numbers and stuff that are on patterns as well as the color. So, and sometimes you can just find um, regular tissue paper that's uh, tan or a very pale brown. So all of those things work for you. And then if you want to make a bright red journal or just do warm colors or cool colors, anything you want. Just change the colors of the origami paper because, you know, origami paper comes in these kits that have all kinds of papers. La, 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 la. Ooh, look, what if we made one in gray? That would be really pretty. Let's do that afterwards. So again, the deal is you fold the front to the front and then the back to the back. 
Um, it makes the folds a little bit more precise. And the more precise the folds are, the more even the cuts are, and then it, the whole paper cut looks prettier. Oops. So for, for all of these, I cut in from the top. Let's try doing a roundish shape. Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. It's too tight. Ah. So I'd love to cut a little circle thing. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, it's working. And let's cut a little triangle. Maybe just two, maybe more cuts. And then we'll let the whole center be. Um, uncut. Ooh, it's like a little confetti party. All right, let's see what we've got. So if you haven't watched me make the paper cuts before, the trick in unfolding them is to kind of bend backwards each uh, fold and that will help when we get it all opened, it will help it lie flat so that we can really see what we've got. And of course, the last fold too. Now, these aren't lying super flat. So with these, I glued them down and then put them under some books for a little while while I was setting up this video. I mean, that's really cute, right? Totes adorbs. All right, so let's do one in gray. So I haven't done this with origami paper, but I'm certain that if we were cutting these, well, the thing is these are so tiny, these particular ones are so tiny that um, cutting these out of office paper it would be really hard to get any kind of intricacy. I'm just cutting off the um, the fold folds here because I'm going to use little papers. Hooky dooky. Did I finish that thought? I was thinking about um, for people who like that antiqued look, I mean, it just stands to reason that you could um, ink the, the ink and antique distress age these um, paper cuts. But you know what? Today is a good day to try this theory out. 
ooh, what if we made a square doily? I don't know that I've ever even seen such a thing. All right, let's have a center roundishy thing. hoping you can see what I'm doing so that when you make your own you'll be seeing something you recognize got here. So you can tell with the um, colored papers, at least for this pack, but I think this is true. Um, most origami paper I think is white on the back side. So you only get the color on the front side. Um, Kind of pretty. Alrighty, so if we're gonna do this, we need, we're gonna ink this. We need paper to ink on. Sorry, I didn't know I was gonna do this. And you're going to hear ruffle, ruffle. Hmm. I have sort of an orangey thing, but I'm pretty sure I have a Distress ink, and blue, and peacock, and coral. Wild honey, I think that's what this is. This is another pink and a purple. I don't know why I thought I had. Huh. Okay, so the closest I personally am going to get you to um, like a real antiquing color is this Wild Honey by Ranger. So let's see what happens. Yeah, see you end up picking up all the little um like the points. Ooh. Oh, maybe that's the better way to do it. Is to just sort of pat straight down. Not, you know, uh, push it. Because there are too many little points. So brown is basically made up of red and blue and yellow. So what if I used one of the red colors? How about the coral? We do a little bit of red on top. A 
What do you think? It doesn't look very brownishy. All right, we're being very daring here. This is salty ocean. Being really light with this. Oops, not as light as I thought. Well, if you just had like a walnut ink um, distressing kit, then that would work better. So this is actually looking sort of greenish. <laughs> this is completely not working. So try this with um, with walnut colored ink and then you'll get the aged distressed thing going on and what you want to do is take these little ink daubers and just press down in a circle all the way around don't you know how you do it with when you have a nice straight edge is you can kind of push against the edge but if you do that with the paper cut you end up you can't can you see this so we are just curling up the corners so that's ridiculous that's not a good idea but it seems to kind of work if you just daub it so i have a question as long as we're doing this what about the gray with a little blue on it. Can you see this? Do you see that this, this paper cut actually acted like a stencil? Anyway, I don't know. What do you think about that? It's pretty light. Mm, to my eye, I can barely see a little bit of color around the edges. Interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Very interesting. All right, so there's a little bit more color. So this side has a little bit more color than this side. I don't know. What do you think? Hey, can you leave me a comment and um, tell me what you think? And if you have like a walnut color or a, I don't know, one of the great antiquing colors, will you try this and let me know if this works or not to make a paper cut and then to kind of pounce the color on top for a little bit of antiquing look? I mean, this is just adding color. This isn't really antiquing. It's really pretty. And I'm totally in love with what's happening on the paper down below. You see? So it really acts like a stencil and it's so pretty. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We have been very, very creative today. DIY Valentine doilies. I guess that's our new, our new um, title for this. My blessing for you is that art brings you love and lasts into your antique old age and <laughs> and that mostly it's just fun and please do consider putting these into your self-expression journal because if love isn't self-expression and valentine's then i don't know what is all righty bye see you next time